Hello and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Ernst Eder and I'm the LOMAC Technical Director. The topic of today's webinar is NCCTA 709.8 High Speed Network Design Guidelines. Uh, this is a webinar which consists of two parts. Uh, today we will get some information what NCCTA 7.8 dot eight high speed network is. Also a comparison amongst other technology, its application and the evaluation kit for practical environment will be discussed. In the second webin webinar, uh, it's begin of September, we will learn how to design NCCTA 709.8 high speed networks. But I guess uh, we will get more info uh, in this webinar about that. Uh, so it's a pleasure for me uh, to introduce our speaker. It's Masa Konishi from Megachips. Masa is a general manager of the networking infrastructure business unit. He has more than 25 years experience in high tech sector and is a key contributor to our LOMAC HTPLC standard. So thanks, Master, for helping that uh, doing. Uh, so you see the, the screen about logistics. Uh, we have at the end of uh, this webinar a Q&A session, so you can post questions and submit it to us. And the webinar is being recorded and will be posted on the LOMAC website in the next few days. Okay, Masa, it's yours. Hey, uh, thanks as for the introduction and uh, organizing the webinar. And good morning to Europe and good evening to Asia. Uh, my name is uh, Masa Konishi. Uh, it's my pleasure to be talking to you today. To uh, give you a background, uh, I have I've been working for more than 25 years uh, in high tech sector, in particular wireline communication, like uh, home networking and access networking. And I am a general manager, networking infrastructure business unit at Megachips. Uh, Megachips are largest Japanese published semiconductor company, uh, founded uh, back in 1990 with headquarters in Osaka, Japan, and uh, San Jose, California. We have a, a global reach with office R&T centers, distributors, and partners all over the world. Our uh, revenue is around 600 million US dollars, and we have about uh, 600 employees worldwide. I encourage you to go to the, uh, our website. Uh, there is a, a word of information about our company and the products. My webinar is consists of uh, two parts. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, part one. Part one will uh, cover two topics. The first one is uh, ANSI CTA 709.8 overview. And the second one is a characteristics. In the overview, I will give you an introduction, technology comparison, key features, specifications, and then uh, share actual application example and solution. And lastly, um, the evaluation kit will be presented. And just as a note, the ANSI CTA 709.8 is uh, referred as HDPLC as well, and also known as uh, BPL. BPL stands for Broadband Powerline. And the, in the second topic, uh, the basic characteristics are listed here, are uh, discussed. The, these characteristics are important to uh, plan networking design, and uh, these are the base of the webinar, uh, the second uh, webinar. The 
As a second webinar uh, scheduled on September 3rd, I will talk about uh, network planning using ANSI CTA 709.8. Uh, there are simple and basic theory to estimate the communication range uh, discussed. Then actual network uh, design uh, will be uh, presented. Okay, so now let's start today's uh, discussion. The table summarizes uh, long uh, CNP standards. Uh, it's a uh, well-organized and widely deployed standard. The installed uh, number of the device uh, indeed proves that uh, the protocol is good fit to the uh, emerging industrial IoT. The ANSI CTA 709.8, the today's main topic, uh, approved February this year. And it is a uh, uh, latest channel standard of LOM uh, control network protocol. As illustrated here, the 709.8 uh, is defined as a uh, layer one and layer two, which is a uh, phi layer and mac layer. It's an alternative uh, channel of existing uh, FT10, PL20, and wires, and so on. The benefit of 709.8 is higher speed and longer range. The upper layer uh, can be applied as is. Uh, it works on any wire, so you can operate your existing twisted pairs and power line communication easily. There are many other wiring options available already today. Uh, this table compares uh, some of the key features amongst popular wiring uh, technologies. RS485, BPSK, PLC, uh, power line. Th these are actually good technology and uh, well deployed in particular for the command response type of application. However, the data rate uh, and the number of nodes are not enough for the industrial IoT uh, where more and more sensors are connected and uh, higher data rates are demanded uh, because of the enhanced security and the system maintenance automation requirement. On the other hand, the Ethernet, uh, it's also well deployed and uh, good technology. But the point-to-point -point, uh, topology and the medium uh, range, that, that uh, limitation is not good for the industrial uh, IoT neither. The newly adapted 709.8 uh, broadband PLC, uh, also HD PLC, uh, that's actually the technology to fill the gap between the current uh, RS485 BPSK PLC and Ethernet. Uh, it supports uh, any wire uh, with uh, free topology. And uh, the number of uh, the range and the number of the nodes are good for the uh, industrial application and also the data rate. Uh, that's a bit less compared to the Ethernet. However, it's good for the uh, to to satisfy the uh, the higher security and uh, um, system maintenance automation requirements. So actually, these are the reasons that uh, this technology is approved as a new non southern channel. Uh, the ANSI CTA 709.8 uh, has two options. One is March Hope, and the other one is uh, complete. The March Hope means that the data, the data is transferred uh, using the terminal as a repeater to reach the faraway nodes. The March Hope supports uh, 
1024 nodes uh, and uh, 10 halves. And the data, the data rate maximum 35 mega PPS uh, uh, UDP. The complete can support UDP rate of maximum 90 mega PPS and 64 nodes can be uh, supported. However, uh, Marchop is not available. The other features uh, like uh, any wire and the free topology are the same in both versions. So the left uh, plot, the comparison with respect to the data rate x-axis and the cable length y-axis. And the green line uh, uh, is a 709.8 uh, March hop. And uh, uh, it can uh, achieve 4,400 meter and the data rate uh, up to 35 megabps compared to the RS485 blue line and the uh, BPSK uh, PLC power line communication, this uh, brown uh, dot. And this orange line is a 709.8 uh, complete. Uh, it can support uh, uh, like a 400 meter to 600 meter with a similar rate of uh, Ethernet 100 mega BPS. The right plot is a comparison uh, with respect to the message per uh, second. 709.8 uh, is uh, 10 times better than uh, uh, compared to RS-485 and the BPSK power line communication. Uh, because of the frame structure and protocol, uh, the even complete, the message per second is a bit less compared to Ethernet. However, uh, for the industrial IoT, 200 message per second is more than enough. Uh, again, uh, you can see in this uh, two plot, 709.8 can fill the gap between the uh, existing technology RS485 and the Ethernet. Okay. Uh, let me add uh, uh, one note. Uh, in the previous slide, uh, with the 709 uh, cable, 709.8. Cable length is uh, described as uh, 4,400 meter for the march off and uh, 400 to 600 meter for complete. But uh, those values are not uh, operational limit. Uh, with a network extension, higher speed and wider range can be achievable. The, each PLC can be connected through the layered switch or MII connections. The uh, above uh, figure illustrate the case using a layered switch. Uh, one of the terminal uh, in the PLC network bridge the data from PLC network to the ethernet and communicate to the other PLC network. Uh, similarly, in the bottom figure, shows a MII connection uh, connected through uh, the, the two PLC or three PLC can connect through the MII interface. In this scenario, we don't need to have a, a Ether, Ethernet file, uh, rather just direct connection with the MII. So by making good use of this uh, network extension, uh, increasing the number of the node and achieving a longer range uh, with maintaining a data uh, rate is possible. Here, uh, ANSI CTA 7098 uh, key features uh, summarize. The technology is based on international standard of IEEE 9001 and also for the routing uh, ITU uh, G.9905. And uh, there are two versions, as I uh, explained, March for long range and complete for high speed. 
and loan maker is available, the signal frequency band is uh, from 2 megahertz to 28 megahertz, uh, where the, uh, the, 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 this band is less noisy compared to the low frequency band. And uh, it's good to satisfy high speed and wide range. And wave rate of VM, CSM, CA, dynamic virtual token passing are used for modulation and the uh, active method. The technology is also uh, adapted as a standard of uh, various uh, organizations and uh, alliance such as uh, NIST and DLNA, TTC, and SGIP. Now, uh, I'm going through actual example of uh, ANSI 709.88. The first one is an extender of existing wire. The advantage of any wire, uh, longer range, higher speed, and the free topology can be applied to any applications. Uh, for instance, the Ethernet can be converted to power line or a twisted pair or a quarks uh, cable. Uh, similarly, even this uh, serial connection uh, can be applied to any wire. And different type of adapters are available uh, for extenders uh, from various manufacturers like uh, uh, HEDC power line and for the twisted pair and the quarks cable. The second example is uh, uh, HVAC. Uh, I think it's a most suitable one to apply the 709.8. Uh, with a simple low cost HPLC to RS485 bridge or ether uh, to PLC bridge, you can eliminate the costly gateway uh, while achieving a megabit bit speed and the extended IP all over all the way to all HVAC end nodes. And uh, it's also good for retrofit. The installed system can be upgraded easily, uh, means uh, I can uh, achieve higher speed, wider range, or more number of nodes with utilizing the existing uh, wiring of twisted pair or dedicated cable or power line in order to meet the uh, enhanced security or system maintenance automation requirement. The third example of the application is a uh, street light. Street light. Here, no new wire is required. The, the data uh, transfer is on existing DC power line. It can save the material cost and the installation cost. Um, this is the application of Wi-Fi extender. The bridge and the access point extend the, the range of Wi-Fi transmission in depth tunnel. And it makes it easy for installation and also remote maintenance through the internet. The technology is also adapted to the sub meters for apartment by transferring the data on existing AC power line. Simple IP network can be built easily. It also uh, realizes fine demand control by uh, making good use of uh, higher data rate. And, uh, uh, in some place where the electrical infrastructure is uh, weak and uh, blackout uh, frequency occurs, the, the meter network system, the, the configuration time becomes uh, critical even for uh, uh, simple data acquisition. The higher data rate helps the configuration time faster, like uh, 30 seconds for the 600 nodes uh, network. It is also uh, good to reduce installation time and cost. 
the PV panel, uh, it's uh, one of the successful use case. The demand to reduce installation cost and to increase uh, range and to have a seamless connection to the home energy management system using IP, the technology fits really well. So uh, this is a video entry system and the video entry system is uh, well uh, adapted worldwide by, by apartment owners to add uh, additional service uh, to the older assets. Uh, it again doesn't require a new wire, but uh, use an existing DC power line for data transfer. And uh, surveillance camera has a lots of opportunities. Uh, this is a uh, case. The camera was installed for better security and uh, remote maintenance for parking lot. The existing AC power line uh, can be used as a communication line. The installation is also easy and quick. Gas uh, pump system is a, a good example of the retrofit. The digital signage and the enhanced security are required to the existing system. However, uh, having new wireline costs a lot and the Wi-Fi cannot cover all the area. Also, it has uh, some concern on security-wise. Then the technology is selected. Uh, the existing twist pair is reused to satisfy the higher data rate and the enhanced security features. Uh, there are many other applications, but uh, we have a limited time. So next, I will uh, introduce development kit for uh, ANSI CTA 709.8. Uh, uh, most of the customers uh, start with the development kit or evaluation kit uh, uh, available in the market. Um, this is a, a development kit uh, called eShirt from Gestec. Uh, Gestec is one of the active members of uh, Lomark Alliance. And this is a complete uh, setup to evaluate ANSI CPA 709.8 at the uh, practical environment. All necessary components and the tools are included. It can be connected uh, AC DC power line, uh, twisted, twisted pairs, and uh, quartz cable. The, the figure illustrates the uh, eShare hardware and the software stack. The hardware consists of a 32-bit microcontroller uh, and the communication chip. These two chips are connected uh, via UR. And software stack uh, composed of a loan stack and IP stack and the ANSI CTA 709.8 as a file layer and mark layer. The EPOS, uh, it stands for Easy Loan Protocol Stack uh, from Gestec, uh, handles a loan upper layer protocol and uh, works on the microcontroller and the communication chip. The eShirk evaluation kit was designed uh, to, to give the end user as uh, much options as possible to test with uh, various uh, digital and analog signal and uh, communication models. Uh, the flexible I.O. here uh, is accessible on a 26 uh, uh, pin double header or ribbon cable here. The breakout board is provided and SD's I.O. mapping allowed using a digital input and outputs. Also alternatively, serial communication protocol like uh, uh, UART, I2C, SPI, and CAM. Uh, those uh, uh, serial communication can be defined. 
Uh, in addition to that, uh, two analog input and uh, outputs uh, can be used. Uh, eShack offers the uh, lawmaker interface. You can configure the uh, demo kit using uh, lawmaker and develop your prototype with uh, ANSI 709.8. In addition to the uh, user application development capability, uh, various tools are available to, to evaluate communication quality of 709.8. The network topology is uh, visualized. Uh, you can see uh, how the terminals are connected with mars hopping, like here, one hop, two hop, three hop, four, five, six, something like that. And also, a uh, list of the terminals are shown. So you can check the ter uh, which terminals are authenticated and uh, join the network. Uh, in also, uh, electrical level signal quality is displayed. Uh, this means that uh, you can observe how good or bad the line condition is. So now uh, I'm going to present the measurement result of 709.8. The is a result at the lab and uh, it's important to plan your network design. Uh, uh, these, these actually characteristics are the base of the second webinar. The left plot uh, shows uh, attenuation x-axis and uh, UDP rate, and the light plot for attenuation versus TCP rate. The blue line is a uh, uh, by date, uh, and uh, the gray line is uh, a 709.8 uh, complete, the high speed, and the orange one is a 709.8 marginal. The attenuation uh, here is a key factor to plan uh, your network design. The, it will be um, discussed in detail as a second webinar but uh, uh, in short, uh, higher the attenuation, uh, weaker the signal, and the data rate gets uh, lower. And there is a limit of uh, attenuation. Uh, it is called dynamic range. And here, as you can see, the dynamic range of uh, uh, 709.8 is uh, 85 dB. Next is a throughput uh, versus uh, hopping. The x axis is a hopping and the y axis is a, a data rate throughput. Uh, left side is a UDP and the right side is a TCP. Uh, since the wiring is shared with all the terminals, uh, more the hopping, more the wire is actually occupied with a data transfer. And that's the reason uh, uh, with uh, more than hopping, the data rate is uh, decreasing. And in addition to the hopping, uh, file, uh, the file rate, which uh, is actually uh, re uh, related to the activation, uh, also affects the data rate. So <clears throat> as I explained in the previous uh, slide, the more the, uh, the higher the attenuation, the uh, rate is decreased. So here, the orange line shows uh, uh, the case. The attenuation is around 6 dB, which results in the 140 megabps as a file rate. And the gray line is a case where the uh, attenuation is around 75 dB which result in the file rate of 6 megabps. And with a 10 hop uh, and the attenuation is a 75 dB, UDP rate uh, becoming around the 5 megabps at UDP rate. Uh, latency uh, also varies per the number of the hopping. The plot shows uh, uh, round trip time 
uh, of uh, ping and the response. So the, the x-axis is a hopping number and the response time is a uh, y-axis. And uh, uh, as you can see here, the two millisecond per hopping is uh, uh, achievable. The polling access, uh, or we, uh, we also say the message per second is a little different aspect from a throughput. The payload size and frame structure and the pro protocol affect uh, the protocol affects the performance. In addition to the data rate uh, defined by electrical specification, and uh, it was uh, measured with respect to the uh, message interval. Uh, in this plot, the blue line uh, is the expected value based on the uh, interval. Uh, for instance, with a uh, uh, two millisecond message interval, uh, we are expected to at achieve 500 messages per second. Uh, however, uh, in the measurement, uh, the, the orange line shows the measurement result. The, it can achieve up to 200, 200 uh, messages per second with a 10 hopping environment. The, from the throughput of UDP 5 megabps with 10 hop, the 500 uh, message per second seems to be achievable. The difference between 200 and 500 is uh, uh, because of uh, uh, payload size, the frame structure, and the protocol. Next one uh, is a quick authentication uh, uh, type. The, the 709.8 uh, can achieve the higher number uh, terminal, but uh, with a quick authentication type. Uh, 14 seconds per 200 terminals or, or 30 seconds with 600 terminals are uh, achievable. Uh, this actually quick authentication time helps to reduce uh, uh, cost and the time for the installation. And uh, as I uh, mentioned previously, the quick recovery time is uh, possible uh, as a case or something unexpected uh, occurs. ANSI CTA 709.8 uh, supports a different uh, level of security. As a five layer, uh, AES-128 and uh, uh, DMT uh, available. The AES-128 is a standard well-known 128-bit uh, encryption. And uh, DMT stands for discrete march tone. Uh, this means that uh, each terminal has its own uh, unique modulation on each uh, subcarrier of uh, OFDA. Uh, this is called uh, tone map. And uh, only uh, those who know the uh, tone map can communicate each other. And this tone map is updated automatically. Uh, or uh, intentionally, depending on the configuration. So, uh, as I explained, uh, only those who know uh, uh, this tone map can communicate. Uh, it also works as a security uh, aspect. Other security uh, techniques are available at the upper layer, in addition to the AES-128 and uh, DMT. The authentication uh, sequence uh, prevents unknown terminals from joining a uh, network. The pairwise key and the uh, white list are uh, employed. The pairwise key is uh, actually um, a hidden kind of password. And those who know this pairwise key only can uh, uh, qualified as a sequence of uh, authentication. 
and also the white list is working only the terminal which is entered as a white list can join the uh, network. The message transfer uh, carried out with a network encryption key. This network encryption key is uh, periodically updated. The default value is one hour and uh, uh, the customer uh, also can update uh, intentionally. Uh, other methods like uh, grouping, uh, VLAN group ID is also uh, available, and the digital signature uh, with the Wolf SSL and IP stack is uh, also uh, supported. So these are our last slide and uh, summarizes today's uh, session. Uh, first, uh, ANSI CTA 79.8 is a uh, high speed network channel and which is uh, defined as uh, layer one and layer two of a long CNP standard. The BPL technology uh, broadband PLC uh, already adapted in uh, various use cases like uh, extenders and HVAC, street lighting, uh, tunnels or meters uh, and so on. And in order to try, the comprehensive evaluation kit is available. And we also uh, uh, introduce uh, some uh, key characteristics. The 709.8, uh, there are two versions. One is much of long range and uh, complete, which is for high speed. The throughput uh, uh, we can achieve uh, UDP maximum 90 mega BPS and 35 mega BPS uh, for complete and march of respectively. The latency is around 2 millisecond and polling access uh, 200 message per second is achievable. And the quick authentication time uh, 14 seconds for 200 uh, nodes and 30 seconds for 600 nodes. And security-wise, it also supports uh, uh, AES-128, DMT, pairwise key, network inclusion key, VLAN, group ID, SSL. So these uh, various techniques uh, support it. Thank you very much for uh, sparing your time. Uh, please visit the uh, MailChips homepage at uh, www.mailchips.com. Uh, for further uh, information. Uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you at the second webinar as well. Thank you. Thanks, Masa. So now we are going to our questions. Okay. And I have a few here. Uh, start from the list here. So one is about collisions uh, in uh, this is especially uh, about uh, the comparison like to to ftt10 because in an ftt10 network uh, we have csma cd and okay. you, sh you should not commission this network uh, more or that you get a throughput more than 75 percent because then you get a lot of com uh, collisions and the network will collapse and the okay. question here is how what medium access protocol does uh, HTPLC use and and if there is a limit here too uh, it's a uh, uh, CSMA CA is uh, uh, used uh, for the collision uh, uh, avoidance and uh, yes, uh, it's true. Uh, uh, it cannot uh, um, use all the uh, hundred percent. However, uh, the file rate uh, is actually up to two hundred forty megabps, and uh, this is actually uh, actual measurement result. Uh, we can achieve ninety megabps as a UDP rate, and uh, for complete and uh, 35 mega BPS with a uh, march of. So this uh, is actually example and uh, because uh, 240 mega BPS is a uh, file rate. So 
uh, even with the uh, CSMCA, we can achieve uh, this uh, level of uh, throughput. Okay. Thanks, Massa. Uh, then there's another one. Uh, it's he wants to like to see more more examples of application. Okay. So maybe you can point us where we can find some, or on your website, or what's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, when you visit uh, our website, uh, www.megachips, uh, sorry about that, uh, megachips.com, we have uh, white papers available, and some of the use case is also uh, placed there. So, yeah, please uh, check our website so you can see other uh, applications as well. Okay, then I have another one. What are restrictions related to EMC for applications of HDPLC in areas where radio location systems, are communication systems are installed? Uh, yeah, there is a, a regulations and uh, uh, for like uh, amateur radio, uh, we have a, a so-called notch, which means uh, the, the frequency uh, already uh, reserved for specific uh, uh, application. We don't uh, allocate the subcarrier so that uh, no interference is occurred. So that's uh, uh, one of the way uh, uh, for the EMC uh, aspect. Okay, then another one, uh, it's about multi-hopping. Uh, the question here is, where is the bottleneck for multi-hopping? Okay, um, yeah, here, as you can see that uh, there is a, a huge difference between the uh, complete and the multi-hop. Uh, with the current product, the bottleneck is a uh, uh, CPU power inside the device. And uh, uh, we are actually planning the new device, new generation, uh, which can improve the performance of the march uh, uh It is mainly to solve the uh, bottleneck of uh, CPU power. So once we uh, release the new generation device, uh, we can improve the march uh, performance as well. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, then I have a good question for you. Where where we can buy uh, tools uh, and 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 this uh, stuff? Do you have distributors or? Okay, yeah. Uh, this uh, eShark from Gestec, uh, you can uh, check Gestec website. And uh, it, actually, uh, there is another. Uh, uh, as a uh, evaluation kit. Uh, this gestic e shell contains uh, everything needed for the loan. And the other uh, solution is just these adapters uh, without uh, uh, these SP micro setup. This uh, uh, evaluation kit is available at uh, DigiKey. So uh, just visit uh, DigiKey website and uh, such uh, mega chips, then you can find out uh, this simple one, which is uh, uh, good for evaluate the phi layer and the MAC layer. Okay. So I think uh, we are done. Just check my list of questions here. I think we answered all all of them. Okay, Th then I would say thank you, Massa, for your presentation. So of course, just mark in your calendar, third of September, and yes. also next week there is another webinar 
Uh, it's about Smart City and uh, please register for it and talk to you next week or, it's our, or you can listen to us next week. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.